Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at AWS Code Deploy. AWS Code Deploy is a fully managed deployment service that automates application deployments to a variety of compute services, such as Amazon EC2, ECS, AWS Lambda, and on-premises servers. Code Deploy makes it easy to rapidly release new features, helps you avoid downtime during the application deployment, and handles the complexity of updating applications. With Code Deploy, you can deploy a nearly unlimited variety of application content, including the source code, web configuration files, executables, software packages, server scripts, and multimedia files. Code Deploy can deploy application revision that is stored in S3 buckets, GitHub repositories, or Bitbucket repositories. Code Deploy is integrated with AWS and third-party services, such as AWS Code Pipeline, Amazon ECS, AWS SAM, and Elastic Load Balancing. In Code Deploy, a revision is a version of source files to be deployed, or scripts to be run on your instance. For deployments to EC2 or on-premises servers, a revision is an archive file that contains source contents, such as the source code, web pages, executable files, and deployment scripts, and an app spec file for application specification. For deployments to ECS or Lambda, a revision is the same as the app spec file. The app spec file contains instructions about how a revision should be deployed, such as task definition used for ECS deployment or scripts to run on the EC2 instance. The app spec file can be written either in JSON or YAML format. A repository is the location that stores the revision required for the deployment. Code Deploy currently supports S3 buckets, GitHub repositories, and Bitbucket repositories. You can store the application revision in an S3 bucket. For EC2 or on-premises deployments, you can bundle the application content and an app spec file into an archive file and push it to an S3 bucket using the push command. You can then use Code Deploy to deploy the revision from S3 to the instance. For Lambda and ECS deployments, you can upload the app spec file to an S3 bucket and reference the S3 location in the deployment. You can store the application revisions in GitHub. Whenever the source code in the GitHub repository is updated, you can trigger a deployment. At the moment, only EC2 and on-premises deployments are supported with GitHub. You can deploy code to EC2 deployment groups by using the code deploy pipe tool offered in Bitbucket. At the moment, only EC2 and on-premises deployments are supported with Bitbucket. A deployment configuration is a set of rules and success or failure conditions used by Code Deploy during a deployment. For EC2 deployments, the deployment configuration specifies the number of instances or the percentage of total instances that must remain available at any time during a deployment. You can use one of three predefined deployment configurations, which are all at once, half at a time, and one at a time. Alternatively, you can create a custom deployment configuration. For Lambda or ECS deployments, the deployment configuration specifies the percentage of traffic that is shifted from the old environment to the new environment. You can use one of three predefined configurations, which are all at once, linear deployment and canary deployment. Alternatively, you can create a custom linear deployment or canary deployment. A deployment group contains a set of individual instances and deployment configurations, as well as rollbacks, triggers, and alarms. You can specify multiple deployment groups for a code deploy application. Each application deployment uses one of its deployment groups. For EC2 deployments, a deployment group contains a set of EC2 instances targeted for deployment. For Lambda deployments, a deployment group defines a set of code deploy configurations for deployments. For ECS deployments, a deployment group specifies the ECS cluster, load balancer, and target groups. It also specifies when to reroute traffic to the replacement task set and when to terminate the original task set after a successful deployment. Code Deploy supports two deployment types, in-place deployments and blue-green deployments. For in-place deployments, the old application on each instance in the deployment group is stopped. The latest application revision is installed, and the new version of the application is started and validated. Only EC2 or on-premises deployments can use the in-place deployment type. For blue-green deployments, the new application revision is deployed to a new set of resources. Traffic is shifted from the old environment to the new environment. Both old and new environments are running during the deployment. You can use blue-green deployment type for EC2, ECS and Lambda deployments. When you use in-place deployment, 
CodeDeploy first stops the application on one of the target instances in the deployment group. The load balancer deregister the instance to make it out of service. CodeDeploy installs the latest application revision on the target instance. The new version of the application is started and validated. Once the deployment to the target instance is completed, the load balance restores the instance to service. CodeDeploy repeats the deployment steps for the remaining instances in the deployment group, until all instances have the latest application revision. During the in-place deployment, because the target instance is stopped before the new version is installed, the total capacity is reduced. Your application performance might be impacted. With in-place deployment, if you want to roll back the deployment, you can only redeploy the previous version of the application. Code Deploy supports both automatic rollbacks and manual rollbacks. When you use blue-green deployments, you can install the latest application revision in the replacement environment. After the installation, you can validate and test the new environment. If all tests have passed, you can deploy the application to production by rerouting the traffic to the new environment. For EC2 deployments, you can use a load balancer to shift traffic from old instances to the new instances. For Lambda deployments, traffic is shifted from the old version of the Lambda function to the new version that is specified in the app spec file. For ECS deployments, the application is deployed to a new ECS task set. Code deploy reroutes production traffic from the old task set to the new task set. During the blue-green deployment, both old and new environments are running. The full service capacity is remained. Because there are two environments running during the deployment, you need to pay for both environments. To roll back the blue-green deployments, you can simply reroute the traffic back to the previous environment. In this episode, we've learned AWS Code Deploy. Code Deploy is a fully managed deployment service that automates application deployments to EC2, ECS, Lambda, and on-premises servers. With Code Deploy, you can deploy application revision that is stored in S3, GitHub, or Bitbucket. Code Deploy uses an app spec file as a set of deployment instructions. The app spec file can be written in JSON or YAML format. To use Code Deploy, you need to create deployment group and specify the deployment configuration. The deployment configuration is a set of rules used during a deployment. EC2 deployments support all at once, half at a time, and one at a time. Lambda or ECS deployments support all at once, linear deployment, and canary deployments. A deployment group contains a set of instances and deployment configurations, as well as rollbacks, triggers, and alarms. Code Deploy supports two deployment types, in-place deployments and blue-green deployments. For in-place deployments, the old application on each instance is stopped. The new revision is installed and validated. Only EC2 or on-premises deployments can use the in-place deployments. For blue-green deployments, the new revision is deployed to a new set of resources. Traffic is shifted from the old environment to the new environment. Both old and new environments are running during the deployment. You can use blue-green deployment type for EC2, ECS and Lambda deployments. Okay, that's all for AWS Code Deploy. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!